owner of Sacker Hill Farm and founder of the Equine Media Project. I'm here today to help you learn the tricks and subtleties necessary to improve your equine photography and always show your horses in the best light. Today we're going to be discussing how to get a perfect headshot on your horse. For this demonstration we're going to be using the seven-year-old Dutch warm blood mare Asianita. So first and foremost, you want to make sure that your horse is as clean and as well prepared for the shot as possible. What I mean by that is if you can, clip their muzzle, maybe trim their eyelashes a little bit, their ears if they will let you, and make sure that they're well groomed. If your horse does not like having its ears clipped, a quick trick to that is just putting a nice fly bonnet on, especially if it's a jumper type horse. Trimming the muzzle will help take away any unnecessary bulk and accentuate the contours of the face. Trimming the ears will also help remove unnecessary bulk as well as remove unwanted distraction from the face of the horse. A well-turned out horse will appear healthy, robust, and energetic, while an unprepared horse will appear bulky, unkept, and far less flattering to the eye. If your horse is a bay or dark-colored horse, bring out the darker areas around the eye and muzzle with a touch of baby oil, petroleum jelly, or highlighter. And don't forget to spray on some sort of coat sheen, such as show sheen. If you don't have show sheen, a citronella-based fly spray will add oils to the coat and give it some shine but be careful as this will also attract dust. A nice touch is to have the mane braided or, if time is an issue, saturate the base of the mane with water and brush it over to one side. If your horse has a skinny neck, photograph the side that shows the mane. If your horse has a beautiful, crusty, muscular neck, photograph the side that does not show the mane. A well-framed headshot should include everything from the wither forward as well as from the very top of the legs upward. Make sure not to capture part of the legs or part of the rider or part of the back because then it looks like you mistakenly cut off your shot. Notice in this photo we've intentionally included too much back past the withers and not enough chest. Also, notice how close the nose appears to the bottom of the frame because of the lack of chest in the shot. Had we included a rider, it would appear as though we unintentionally cut off him or her. In this photo, once again there is too much back. However, we have also intentionally included too much chest. Notice here that the upper part of the front legs are visible, again giving the impression of an incorrectly framed shot. Though framed fairly well, this shot is ruined by the horse's negative expression caused by the position of the ears. Remember, ears forward gives the impression of an alert and happy horse. As far as the framing of this last shot, we have just enough back behind the wither, though we could do a slightly more visible chest. Notice the forward ears and alert expression. Next we're going to take into consideration the position at which you're going to be taking these shots. Ideally you want to be at a perpendicular angle to the horse's shoulder in order to elongate the neck as best as possible. You also want to make sure that you're positioned in such a way that the face is captured in a flattering manner. What I mean by flattering manner is that you don't necessarily want a full profile shot since that only gives you half of the horse's face, one eye and one side. At the same time, you also don't want a head-on shot since that loses complete expression in the horse and it gives you two eyes on the horse's forehead. As you can see in this shot, the horse's head is too head-on to the camera giving the impression of a short neck. Notice here that an absolute head-on shot completely disguises the contours of the face and therefore the horse loses all expression. A complete profile shot, as shown here, will lose expression by only showing one of the eyes, ears, and nostrils. This is, to me, an ideal headshot. It illustrates a well-turned out horse with appropriately fitting tack, proper framing and angle, resulting in an alert, expressive, and beautiful horse. Thank you for joining us for this episode of In the Best Light. Come back again to learn even more helpful hints on how to best capture your horse. I hope to see you behind the camera, and always remember, Never stop learning.